This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. It's Wayne Day. We're here, head of the Boxing Heist 3. Dean White promoting the event. Dean, I'm going to let you take it away. Introduce us to everybody we've got in sure attendance. Some of these guys know Yusuf Kamari, they look a wrecking machine at. Yeah. What are you, featherweight or super featherweight? Super featherweight. Super, super featherweight. featherweight. You know what them man they bring? Mm. Is it Kane Baker, give him the smoke? Uh, what's the next one? Is it Castaneda? Yeah, Castaneda for Castaneda. Yeah, the Castaneda. bad boy fight with him, I'm sure the fans have seen. And then we've got the new star, this is my new signing, this is Spencer Oakman. The real beast in the light heavyweight, super middleweight division is coming through. He's got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to learn. Got a lot to learn still, because he's a young man and he's he's got a hot head. He looks calm <laughs> like a cucumber now, but you know when he's in there, he's a little bit of a wrecking ball. But we want him to hopefully be, he's, you know, he's making his debut tomorrow. But I want him to be calm, box behind the jab and picking shots. But he's a man he can punch. He's got a lot of power. He's in tremendous shape. He's young. He's, he's, he's red and hot blooded, so he's gonna want to go in there and make a statement. He sold a ton of tickets, so he wants to probably make a statement. But I want him to maybe box behind the jab, step up, and pick the shots. Then the knockout will come. When you rush and do it, you look a bit clumsy sometimes. Hopefully, he will absorb everything I say to him and the coach says, and, uh, and we'll, we'll have a good fight from. But look, let him introduce himself. Spencer Oakman, here he is. Yeah, come on, son. yeah it's my debut tomorrow. Um, I'm buzzing really, just, just want to get in there now. Um, it's my debut, so I want to put on a good performance. Again, like Dean said, box behind my jab. When I first come up, he seen me inspiring, just trying to take people's Hell heads off. Level. Trying to take people's heads off, go to war. But come out of that now, box box my, my fight, I'm tall, rangy, so I've got a lot of tools in the arsenal that I can use. So. When Dean comes in here and he says you're hot-headed but you've got a lot of talent, we always talk about boxing helping people learn discipline and, and staying calm. Does that apply to you? Yeah, 100%. When I was younger, so I start, only started boxing at 16, so I was quite a, quite a late comer to boxing. Um, before that, I was always always fighting in school. In, my, 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 I've got brothers, always fighting my brothers. And since, since boxing, and it's just taught me that discipline, I go, and I, it's, it's like an energy outlet. So I get all my energy out in the boxing gym teaches you discipline. I'll never fight outside the gym now, it's all in the gym, so yeah, 100%. Yusuf, just a quick one with you. Been a little bit of time out the ring, last in action last year. How, how are you feeling and, and when are you back as well? I'm good, I'm sitting in the gym, I'm staying ready. You know, I'm someone that's dedicated to my craft, so I'm always in the gym and I'm always training. Keeping an eye on my division, obviously, is looking at, looking at what's going on. Um, there's not much going on, to be honest. There's a lot of ducking and diving and slipping and sliding, you know, <laughs> you guys sliding, but you know what, I see, I know Kid Galahad's out there and he, want, he wants a little comeback fight and, you know, maybe they don't want Castaneda because he hits too hard, they want someone that's a bit, you know, a bit more who vulnerable. Who they consider, who they consider, yeah, there you that's go. the word, you've got to use the right words. Yeah, yeah. Go, who, they consider. who they consider to be a bit of an easier target, so, listen, I know they offered a the fight to maybe four or five people and four or five people's turned it down. Listen, Eddie, man, if you want the guy to fight somebody, hey, Pick up the phone and call my people and make the fight happen, man. I'm ready. I ain't gonna say no. The man is ready. That's Hungry. right. Hungry. Lion. Lion, man. man That's is it. ready. Hungry, like man. Oh, man. Lion. I don't, ready. <laughs> don't, they don't say too much of that because they might not want to take the fight now. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Hey, sorry. Is that a fight you think he will take? Do you know what? It, if four or five people standing on the fight, you kind of need me to take the fight, you know what I'm saying? I'm someone who's not even going to ask any questions. I'm just going to say, yes, let's go, give me the date. I'm going to get in the gym and I'm going to get ready. So I'm pretty sure he will take it. But maybe after the Lions stuff, he might, he might, I don't know, he might bottle it like he did it with Castaneda, I don't know. Spencer, just a quick word on you. The pro journey starts tomorrow. Every fighter's got their dream when they turn professional. What's the big dream for you? Just keep, just have a, keep winning. Just, that's literally it. Like, I've only been with my coach, Mike Williams. Uh, for nine months. Come in, come in, Matt. Come yeah, on, yeah, come, come on, in you come. You wanna, you wanna come, come on, come on. I've only been with this man nine months, and before before moving with him, like I'd, this wasn't even an opportunity for me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't think I'd be, be a pro. Didn't think I'd go and like box on shows like this. And in nine months, it's all happened very, very quickly. So yeah, just keep winning, keep doing what we're doing, and yeah, sky's the limit. Dean, I'm going to leave the final word to you. Boxing Heist 3, yeah, close to a sure. sellout. Can anyone still get tickets? So, yeah, people can get tickets. Um, we won't deny anyone, you know, because it swings and roundabouts. People, it's a revolving door. People come in to see their guys, people leave. So, we've still got tickets. We're going to push them. I've got a few people coming here today to probably pick up tickets and whatnot. So, we're going to continue pushing, but we're going to be busy tomorrow. We're going to be packed tomorrow. And we're gonna be, you know, we're gonna have a great night. Um, it's, it's gonna be hot and sunny tomorrow, so I guess there'll be a little vibe, there'll be food, uh, there'll be entertainment, and most of all, great boxing and great music. So 
you know, tune in, log in. It should be streamed as well. Um, it should be streaming on um, the Black Box channel, hopefully, and Boxing King Media. So, there'll be, you know, people will be able to see it. If you can't come in person, check it out online. But don't miss the man's fight, man. Listen, it's going to be great. And you've got Alfie Clegg. Don't miss his fight. There's amazing, amazing fights on the card. So, you know, it's going to be good, man. We'll have loads of boxers down there. You know, local. Denzel said that he'll come down after his fight. So, we're going to, we'll have lo local talent, local people. I think Lerone Richardson said he's coming down the IBO Champions. Let's see. Let's see if he gets down from Sheffield. I'm on to you, son. You better get here and bring your bloody belt. Yeah, all right. Sorry about that. I mean, yeah, it's a lovely night, though. Yeah, nevertheless. Just a couple of things away from this before I let you go, Dean. Uh, firstly, Amir Khan, one of the greatest of British boxing, announced his retirement today. Just get a reaction from you to that. Uh, well, do you know what? Like, I guess, look, he's done everything good at sport. He's been a credit to our sport and our nation for many years. And I've been saying it before. He was the flag bearer for many years across America when he was fighting the Mont Peterson and all the uh, Malinaji and all those names when, was it Zab Judah? Many names that people, we didn't have boxing, wasn't thriving here. There wasn't matching, there wasn't really Eddie Hearn. Boxing wasn't thriving here. He was across there making a big name, selling out all of the you know the shows he was doing. And he's a credit man. Look, he, he managed to still pull it off the other day, get a big payday, run off into the night with a big bag of money, and he's loving it. He's, he's living life. Credit to him. You know, congratulate him. Let him enjoy his retirement, and uh, hope wish him all the best. Just like Kel Brook, he done the same thing. Bank robbery. They they, they they done the bank robbery both of them. They're laughing all the way to the bank and uh, let them, you know, go off into the sunset, live a healthy life now. Maybe they can go and find something else to do. Maybe they might work in boxing in another field, but yeah, credit to those guys. Last thing before I let you go, um, I know you and Andy have spoken at length about Dillian and the fight with Tyson Fury, so uh, beyond that, but just a word on Dillian. I've seen Eddie, some quotes from yesterday saying, plenty of fights left there out for him. When do you expect he'll be back? Listen, Dillian's good. It's boxing. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you draw. Canelo won, lost on the weekend. A lot of people have been writing him off and saying this and saying that. Dylan's lost now. I think he's only lost three times. It's not the end of the world. There's so much more fights out there. From the heavyweight division is striving and booming. There's big money, big fights. There's Wilder, there's Andy Ruiz. There's, there's many. There's, there's so many more fights that we had. You know what I mean? So um, you've got Joshua fight, you've got... Usyk at some stage. There's many fights in every. It's not over. It's not over. So he's got a few. He just needs a bit of time off and reflect and do certain things. And uh, good business. You know what I mean? So I was going to say, two in-house fighters are always going to be there for him. Anthony Joshua and Derek Chisora again. Do you expect you'll fight them both again before everybody retires? It's a possibility. It is definitely a possibility. But who knows what the future holds? That's down to him and his guys. And obviously, whatever he does, I'll be uh, you know backing him 100% whichever direction he goes in. All right, Dean, Boxing Heist 3, make sure you tune in tomorrow, everybody. And thanks as always. Come down. Bye.